I'm here again with Brad Schoenfeld, a leading researcher in the entire world on hypertrophy. And Brad has done some really groundbreaking work as it pertains to volume. So how much volume should you train with? You know, do you do 20 sets, 30 sets? And, and how do you split it up? Do you do it all in one session? And Brad has done a lot of research on this. And subsequently, I think a lot of your colleagues like picked up on this and started doing some research as well. I wanted to get your general thoughts on volume because as a bodybuilder, I honestly had never really thought about splitting up volume and equating it. It was not like, you know, let's say we did on Tuesdays, we did 20 sets for legs. Well, if we wanted to increase our frequency, it would have been just, well, then add another leg workout on Friday and add another 20, 20 sets, sets or 10 for okay. That was our concept. And then a guy like you came along, you said, well, wait a minute. Maybe instead of doing 20 sets, you do 10 and then maybe another 10. So you equate a volume. And that concept in bodybuilding is actually pretty new, in my opinion. Cause so we carried out, our lab carried out a meta-analysis on this topic. And a meta-analysis, for those who don't know, is when you pool all the data, uh, all the studies, and basically you make one big study out of all the smaller studies that have been carried out. And it gives you a much more powerful way to look at what the body of literature shows. And what we found was really interesting. The, uh, there was a clear do what's called a dose-response relationship. So as you increase volume, you also increase the amount of growth. But there was a number of caveats to this, a number of limitations. Number one, virtually all of the studies have been carried out in untrained subjects. So there are only two. We had 15 studies that actually looked at this topic. 13 of them were in untrained subjects. And the ability, again, to recover for an untrained subject from volume, higher volumes, is not going to be what, certainly with a high-level bodybuilder. And also, remember, when someone is a newbie, their gains are going to be expedited. You're going to see, when I first started training, I gained like 10 pounds of muscle in four months. You know, you, you gain a lot of muscle quickly because your body is, is adapting very quickly. And then you start to plateau off. And the other one is that there really hadn't been any studies that looked at very high volume. So the most we can equate to was 10 sets per muscle per week. And we did find this dose response. So uh, the, four, the five to nine had greater hypertrophy than the one to four, and the 10 plus had greater hypertrophy than the four to nine, meaning that there is a, an effect of volume here. And it was fairly pronounced too, where the gains were almost doubled when you went to the higher uh, volume approach. By the time this video comes out, but we just got it accepted in the uh, journal Medicine, Science, Sports and Exercise, so a really high quality journal. And we looked at the dose-response relationship in resistance-trained men. So we took young, pretty jack guys for the most part. Mm -hmm. We found this dose-response relationship held true. And even more so, we showed the one set group gained, if I remember, around 5% in their quads, mm -hmm. whereas the five set gained 13%. So it was more than double wow. the hypertrophy. Yeah. Now, however, you have to realize it's a short training study. So it's an eight-week training study just fairly short period of time. I would certainly, it's, volume is gonna follow what's called an inverted U or hormetic curve where you achieve benefits up to a certain point. You know, if I would make it get 100 sets per week, would that get better? No, probably not only would it not get better, you're gonna see a negative effect from an overtraining response. Right. The body is very good at adapting over short periods to periodizing volume where you do, uh, let's say a block of very high volume training or higher volume training, whatever that is and then periods of lower volume training. Well, it's interesting too, because the, um, like all of the, all of the stuff that I've always read in, was in terms of maximizing, like for an event, was around strength. So you tapered volume and strength peak, but this mm -hmm. is interesting because I haven't really seen much of this on, in, until your work has brought it up. What about volume? Cause, and I would say from a practical perspective, um, the way I feel about it is I don't think people, generally speaking, push yourself hard enough. I don't think they do enough. Now, the other side of that is then you get the crazy people who push really hard, but they never know when to back off. Right, right. So I think, you know, man, don't be afraid to push yourself. Like push, get some volume in, increase it intelligently, a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. Then when you start to see, okay, now maybe you know, the size, the size is gains are stopping, the strength gains are stopping. I'm, maybe I'm not sleeping as well. Maybe, you know, you just, you pick up on all these signals that says, okay, maybe it's time to pull back. Mm -hmm. And I think in bodybuilding, that kind of stuff, it's so instinctive. 
Um, whereas in like strength training, there's very, you know, you do this for this amount of weeks, this for this, it's very planned, it's very methodical. And it's been proven to be very effective. But in bodybuilding, I think it's a little bit more complex. Intuitive. So that would indicate that we can only give, uh, research can only give basic guidelines. As John really points out very eloquently, you need then to understand your own individual response. Or Push yourself, methodically increase your volume. Look for, look for signs uh, that you're progressing and keep going, but if, if those th kind of things dissipate and you're going the wrong way, then you pull back. But listen, don't be afraid to push yourself. As Brad mentioned, we, we did 40 plus sets. That's a lot, you know, for anybody. Right. But there were people who responded well, so you might be one of those people, and maybe you can handle it for a week. Remember, too, that that 40 sets was spread out, 45 was spread out over three. It's not 45 sets in a, in a session. So that was spread out. That was actually over yeah. three days, so three sessions. 